Um, and this is just from my perspective. Sure. Um, I don't think we should have anybody in, in power that says that they want to, they call Americans the enemy within, like Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi. By the way, I'm not a Nancy Pelosi fan. Okay. <laughs> How did she become but, a millionaire, by the way? Well, listen, if, you, if you're concerned about Nancy Pelosi becoming a millionaire, then you should be concerned about Jared Kushner getting $2.1 billion from the Saudis. That, you, should, you should be concerned about Ivanka Trump making $600 million from the Chinese government in trademarks. But that was all legal, though. That was okay. all legal. Well, if Nancy, but you don't have a problem with that, though? $2.1 billion I, from the Saudis when he's working for Donald Trump? Well, I, I bet you have a problem with Hunter Biden. Well, you have no, a problem with Burisma. Well, no, Brian, I'm not going to get into specifics. I don't know. I don't know the right. full story. Right. Okay. So I'm not going to comment. It's right. Like but the only reason why I said that, it, it, Keith, with respect, is because you had a problem, you said, with Nancy yep. Pelosi becoming a millionaire. As yep. far as I know, I don't think she did anything illegal. There weren't any charges filed. Uh, but then when I bring up Jared Kushner making $2.1 billion in the, in the administration, why is it you don't want to talk about that? Well, I'll say Pelosi made better stock calls than Warren Buffett. She had a better winning percentage on stocks than Warren Buffett. Okay. Why is that? Well, if you're you know the answer. If you're insinuating <laughs> that she might have cheated uh, to make money yeah. with, with, then what I would need is I would need some evidence to prove it, right? You, may, you might be right. You might be right. I don't know. But what we do know is that Donald Trump's daughter made $600 million from the Chinese government in trademarks. What we do know is that Jared Kushner, by the way, these people were working in Trump's administration, sure. made $2.1 billion from the Saudis. What we do know is Donald Trump made hundreds of millions of dollars Mr. Trump from lost, donations. Yeah, but Mr. Trump lost money in office. I don't he did. see how you went, come to that conclusion. No, nah, his net worth went down when most, he was in office. Most people that uh, have been looking at his net worth said that he... He's made bundles of money, uh, well, recently, hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in donations saying he was going to fight voter fraud, and he only used about 4 or $5 million of that for voter integrity voter fraud, and he kept 80% of the rest. Well, I would just direct everyone to look. His net worth went down while he was in the White House. That's just factual. Are you, are you comfortable with him selling Bibles for $60 and making them in China for $3? Does that make you comfortable if we're talking about money? Honestly, it doesn't. One way or the other. That's okay. I, I'm, I'm more concerned about Grocery prices, gas okay. prices. Fair enough. Quarter. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I so want to I mean, I just let's give you. I want to get. Fair I, enough. I don't like to get like worked up over every little thing. Yeah, I, know, I don't think it's, but I don't think Keith, it's a little thing when you threaten politicians. I don't think it's a little thing when you call people like me the enemy from within. I don't think it's a little thing when we saw what happened on January sixth when he still lies about the two thousand and twenty election. Do I don't you think? think it, do you think he won the two thousand and twenty election? I don't want to get into it. Uh, you can't I, definitively say yes or no? Yeah, how about that? I, I, do it, are you going to ask me, do I think yeah. Joe Biden got 81 million votes? I don't. I think there were some shenanigans going down in Georgia and some other places. Then why weren't they able to prove it? Why was there no evidence to prove of widespread voter fraud that could have changed the outcome? I because know. if there was, then I'd be on your side. I agree. But going back to Kushner and yeah. uh, Ivanka, because, you know, they've been going after Trump, obviously, for everything. Mm -hmm. If something illegal had gone down, they would have found it. They would have found it. I'm not saying it was illegal. Yeah. I never use that term. Okay. I'm just saying. You're right. You, you didn't. I yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's illegal. And by the way, I'm not saying what Hunter Biden did was illegal either. But I think the definitive difference is they were working in Donald Trump's administration. But I want to, like sure. you said, you want to talk about policy. I think that's a fair conversation to have. All I'm simply I'm saying. I'm not an expert in policy. No, no, I, no. I, I can only tell you how I, I feel. Totally get it. Yeah. Totally get it. Um, but all I, and this is just my opinion. Sure. This is how I vote, right? I we, all, we all vote differently, yep. right? You vote differently. I vote differently, and that's yes, fine. Sir. We're all Americans. We all have the right to vote where we want. Yes, sir. And I'm not trying to change your mind, and you're not coming here trying to change oh. my mind. That wasn't my intention. No, sir. But, um, and I know I'm not going to, <laughs> but, but I, I, for leadership, I want someone who's a decent human being. Um, and when I look at Kamala Harris, and this is where we could probably get into policy too, um, I look at her as a decent human being, someone who worked hard in her life to get to where she is. She's a good family person. She's never been charged with a crime or convicted of a crime. Um, she seems like she has a really nice family. Sure. Even the actual mother of her, the biological mother of, of her children has had nothing but nice things to say about Kamala Harris. She just seems like a nice human being, and, and I don't like the attacks on Donald Trump, uh, many attacks, calling her stupid. And I'm like, there's no way this woman is stupid. Look at what she's accomplished in her life. And I just think to be a leader, whether you're a basketball coach or a baseball coach, by the way, congratulations to your Dodgers, by the way. <laughs> I'm still uh, basking they, that victory. I apologize. They made me that. some money. No, don't apologize. They made me some money. I've been a Dodger fan for oh, but, but you have a leader of your organization, the yes, manager, sir. who's a who's a leader. Uh, you know, and when I think of the word leadership, I want somebody who has a moral compass. I want somebody who is a decent human being and uh, moving forward, right? And I see what happened at MSG the other day. What and was wrong with that with MSG? Sure. Um, I'm, I'm glad you asked. You're um, Jewish, right? There absolutely. were Jewish flags all over the place. 
I didn't see Jewish. I, I didn't know there was a Jewish oh, yeah. flag. Uh, you mean an Israeli flag? Uh, yeah, okay. I apologize. That's okay. Yeah, I, 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 but yeah. that's okay. They, well, they, I'll they tell you. All over the place. Well, when you when you make jokes at a political rally, not a Trump comedy club. Say it though. That bad. Okay, but here's and it was a bad joke. I agree. Wrong. I thought it was horrible. So let me ask you. Wasn't funny? I agree. So let me. You said Trump didn't say it. You're right. He didn't. Nope. But here's Trump wasn't even there. He showed up four hours. But here's something else he didn't do. He didn't denounce it. And he had the podium that he night. He wasn't Hannity just two days ago saying he had nothing to do with it. He didn't know right, the guy. Right, But instead of saying, I had nothing to do with it, and by the way, his campaign did, because not only did they hire him to speak, but they put in his jokes in the teleprompter. So his campaign did. But let's just say 100% you're right. Trump so why had, was it okay for George Lopez the, the exact same I'll, day to talk about Mexican stealing? That I'll, was okay, though. I'll, I'll get to that. Right? I'll happily you, answer your question, okay. and I'll get to that. I apologize. I'm no, sorry, no, no, no. I'm sorry to interrupt. No now. need to apologize. Um, and I'll, I'll gladly answer your question. Trump... That night when he spoke on that stage, yes, could have sir. denounced those statements and said, hey, I don't support that. And by the way, it wasn't just one joke. It was comments that Rudy Giuliani made. It was another comment that a man made about a black man and watermelon. Uh, there were a lot of insulting comments I that were hear, made. I apologize. I didn't hear That's okay. Anything. I wouldn't make it up. Uh, okay. No, no, I, 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 I'm not saying I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Um, and there were a lot of people that were offended by that, whether sure. you agree with that or not. A lot yep. of people were offended. And by the way, private comedy club, people should be allowed to say whatever the hell they want. But at a political rally, I find it to be insulting and inappropriate. Trump had an opportunity on that stage to denounce it. And I guarantee you, Keith, in my opinion, okay. if Kamala Harris is holding a rally, and let's just say they made a blunder, which they haven't, but let's just say George Lopez was hired at one of her rallies. By the way, that wasn't a Kamala Harris rally that you were speaking of, but let's just say George Lopez was hired at a Kamala Harris rally. Sure. And he called Puerto Rico trash or garbage or crap. I guarantee you Kamala Harris, while taking the stage that day, would denounce it immediately. And not only does Donald she Trump... She hasn't come out and denounced Mark Cuban yet. What are you talking about? W what did Mark Cuban say that was racist or bigoted in nature? Uh, he put down half of the women in the country saying all the women around Trump are weak and stupid. Well, he literally yeah. said that. She still hasn't come out and denounced it he yet. Didn't, he didn't call all the people around Trump He called Donald the Trump women stupid. around Trump. Call them and I know, I know a lot of those he women. He said they weren't strong. Uh, he called them weak. He, he said um, that, well, he said that Trump doesn't like smart women around him and I strong agree. women. I agree. She still hasn't said a word about it, and he's like one of her big, biggest mouthpieces. So when how you, come she hasn't come out yet? So, then? so that's what not saying right now is not accurate. Right. So there's a di there's a definitive difference there when you take an entire group of people. What Donald, what uh, what Mark Cuban is talking about is Donald Trump's administration members. He did not want Nikki Haley to not only be his vice president, but he doesn't even he didn't even want Nikki Haley speaking on the tour with him. Now, why is that? I think most people would say Nikki Haley's a pretty intelligent person i'm a big fan of nikki haley i think she he be has great not president one he day. has not wanted her around why is that we don't know that yet what do you mean it's three days before the election she's offered to speak at his a, 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 and she's criticized him sure. for the rhetoric so mark cuban's not saying half the country that, that are women are stupid what he said was the people around donald trump uh the he women doesn't, around right, donald he doesn't trump. want smart women around him and i tend to i think there's a fine line between saying that and taking an entire group of people like puerto rico and calling them garbage mr trump has a lot of brilliant women around him who? the fact that cuban said that is like who really what uh, well Kellyanne Conway's fantastic. You think Kellyanne Conway's brilliant? I didn't say brilliant. I think she's fantastic. I think she's Alter an amazing you think, woman. You think saying that we have alternative facts is a very intelligent thing to say? Uh, so what the uh, heck? What's not, an alternative fact? Well, I'm not going to critique every single thing well, a person says on camera. Listen, I don't think... I understand, but I, okay, you can disagree with Mark Cuban in his statement, but I think there's a difference between... Why did Cuban come out and apologize immediately? Because Well, because he didn't up. want... No, because he didn't... Well, first of all, when has Donald Trump apologized for anything? Number one. And number two... Mark Cuban, I just interviewed him the other day, and I agree in, 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 in retrospect to what he said. I agree that I don't, I don't think Donald Trump has a lot of intelligent people around him, let alone intelligent women. I think Tulsi Gabbard's brilliant and strong. She's much stronger than Mark Cuban. Well, again, I mean, Tulsi Gabbard is somebody that uh, has never denounced Assad. Tulsi Gabbard is somebody that, in my opinion— uh, was always a Republican. She, she served in combat. She's very I smart. I, she carved up Kamala Harris on stage to her face, and then she got crushed by it from you, the Democrats. Okay, so let me ask you a question then. You, you would consider Tulsi Gabbard carving Kamala Harris. Would you she say, did Would you debate. say Kamala Harris carved Donald Trump? In no. That you wouldn't. I think it was three-on-one that night, and it was obviously very apparent to anyone who watched that debate. Come on. Three-on-one? It was three-on-one that night. Why do you say that? Did you watch the debate? I did. Of course I did. <laughs> you saw, they fact-checked him they four did, times. They didn't fact-check her one time the well, entire what she, night. What does she lie about? She, she, Bidenomics is working. We can start yeah. with that. That's not a lie. That's an opinion, and I will I will second that, and you can tell me whether you disagree. Uh, I 1,000% um, disagree. Okay. So, And why didn't why didn't Biden or, or Kamala call Lincoln Riley's parents? 
they're still waiting for a call from. Why didn't she call Lincoln Riley's Lincoln parents? Riley, yeah, the trial started today for the, for the alien that killed her. You do know that there were illegals that murdered people under the Trump administration, and Trump didn't call those victims' families as well. So he why weren't you calling for uh, that? Mr. Trump called quite a bit of them. He did, uh, he did. He reached out to quite – they don't report on it a lot of times, a lot of, a lot of the great stuff he does. Okay. They don't report on it because why would you put him in a good light? Why would they put him in a good light? If they don't like do, him. If you do something good, then I'll put you it's in not, a good light. But that's not his style, though. He does a lot of things behind the scenes people don't even know about. Okay, like well, Jennifer Hudson, for instance. Mm -hmm. Remember her family got murdered, wiped out? Mm -hmm. He put her up in Trump Tower. She okay. stayed there rent-free for how long? I think she there, are, there are people that are bad people that are capable of doing some good things. Uh, well, okay. I he's think not just a bad because, person. We okay. can disagree on that. Well, I mean, you know, I, I certainly think that when you have 30-plus women that accuse you of sexual assault or rape, including your ex-wife in a deposition under oath, and you're a liable sexual abuser, and you talk about grabbing women by the genitals, um, and you're hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein seven times on his flight log, by the Who way. Who else that was, was hanging proven. out with Jeffrey Epstein, by the way? Joe Biden or Kamala Harris? Because they're just, the one. I'm just asking a question. And I'm just saying Kamala Harris is running against Donald Trump. I'm not excusing anybody else that might have been hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein or Bill Clinton, who I just met, by the way, a couple weeks ago. It's Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump. And all I'm saying is when you look at the statements he's made about his own daughter, about women in general, attacking women based on looks. I don't define that as a good person, but let's talk about policy. We never, we got sidetracked. Well, there. actually, I wanted to get back to you. I, sure, I apologize. Go ahead. We got side God, That's okay. I feel like I can talk to you forever. <laughs> like we've been friends forever. <laughs> That's a good thing. I'm a Vegas It's a good man, conversation. So it is, brother. Yeah, it, it is, is. Yep. it is, man. A respectful, oh, good conversation. Yeah. Like, but go ahead. But sir, you were yeah. talking about what you look for in a leader about sure. good character. Yep. Bill Clinton, JFK. But they're not running Thomas. for office. I'm just asking, though. Yeah. But you're saying, did, did you like them as president? Bill Clinton right now would not be a Democrat. Right now, if Bill Clinton ran for office and he was running against Donald Trump, I would probably vote for Bill Clinton, not because I like Bill Clinton, sure. but because I think he's less of a threat to our country than Donald Trump. I don't excuse any of the behavior of Bill Clinton. I thought it was despicable what he did with Monica Lewinsky oh, yeah. uh, being a married man. It's horrible. And yep. I would never defend that. But then when I bring up Donald Trump's behavior, and by the way, Donald Trump, a proven liable sexual abuser where the judge characterized it as rape, everybody seems to want to push that and brush it off to the but side. It was never rape, by the way. And the I judge characterizes it. It was a Democrat city that was trying to get him, take him down, fat Alvin Bragg. We all know exactly what he was and is. So come on. All the all the lawsuits against Trump. We all know the weaponizing of the DOJ against him. The, the, the Democrats are saying that's what Trump's going to do. They're literally doing it against him. Who's who's weaponizing the DOJ against him? Merrick Garland. I'm sure Biden has something to do with it. You think Biden had something to do with it? Well, I do. there's no evidence of that. But why would he defy a subpoena for a year? Why would Trump do that? Again, I, I have no idea. I don't I don't know all the minute details. Well, that, I don't so. think that's minor. He defied a subpoena for a year. The the DOJ, the FBI, sure. they said, please turn over the documents you have, like Joe Biden did, by yeah. the way. And Donald Trump deci de decided to defy a subpoena for a year. Now, if you want to talk about stupid, he calls a lot of people stupid. He calls Kamala Harris stupid. He calls a lot of people dumb, idiots, whatever. I think it's very stupid when you would defy a subpoena for a year and think you could just take any documents you want and not give them back. He had presidential privilege, though. That's he not was, true. It, that is true. We can not, agree. Not to, I disagree on well, that. Well, then why did he, he defy did. a subpoena for a year? Because he likes. he's a fighter. He likes to fight. So you you would define a fighter. Somebody did you see where Biden had those Intel documents behind the gray? And did you see in the garage? And did you see the way they reacted when the FBI contacted them? They well, they returned everything and they cooperated. Donald Trump did the opposite of that. So why didn't Biden go to trial? Because he did because he returned all the documents no, 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 that's not and he accurate. cooperated with the attorneys. No, he didn't go to trial. And he wasn't showing those because he's feeble, has dementia. He, and the judge said, or the, I'm sorry, the prosecutor said he couldn't make it through. So nobody said on the record uh, medically that he has dementia. I'm not a doctor. He You're will. not a doctor. Wait for the diagnosis. I will put you any amount of money. Yeah. That diagnosis will okay. be coming so out. So why did in Donald five Trump years. go to Walter Reed in 2018, and why won't he uh, show us his uh, records of health? Why do you think that is? He doesn't have to. He doesn't because he doesn't have to. Yeah, for right. what? I'm not going to show a, you my medical. I'm in tip top You're shape. not running for president. Yeah, uh, I know, if but. he's a very healthy man, why won't he tell us why he went to Walter Reed and why won't Kamala Harris has released her medical records? Why won't Donald Trump release his? If you if you're concerned about the health of a president, don't you think the American people have a right to know and and see your medical records to see if you're competent to be president of the United States? Brian, don't you feel like you voted for Biden, right? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So for years we sat there. We knew exactly what he had going into the last election. You, I what would did say he have? you that the Democrats lied about his physical condition for years. What was his condition? I'm not a doctor. I'll let you, everyone else who's Neither seen him I. stumble upstairs, fall down. Did you see Donald Trump trying? Okay, sentence. let's talk about stumbling if that's a concern to you. Uh, not you, just stumbling. Come on. Okay, There's well hold on. Let's go one by one. Falling did off you his see, bike. 
Did you see Donald Trump the other day getting, trying to get on a garbage truck? Did you see him blunder and almost fall down? Have you seen videos of him the last well, several months reach dragging, dragging his right leg everywhere? Okay, if stumbling is important to you, shouldn't you be concerned about Donald Trump? Okay, one, he's probably never been in a garbage truck before, so he's reaching up first time to get one, so I'm giving him a pass. Now, I would probably do the same thing. I'm in pretty you think good shape. Do, you could see Donald Trump on a bicycle? Think he can get on a bike and yeah, run? Did you see Joe Biden? Why, why won't he show his medical records then? Why won't we see this guy exercise except taking a golf swing? All I'm saying is I want a both, the standard for both people. If, uh, by the way, Joe Biden's not running for president right now. Kamala Harris. Why, why isn't Joe Biden running for president? I believe, right I believe Joe Biden, and, and by the way, I'm not a doctor. I think you know I, the right reason. I believe, I believe right now, compared to a year ago, and people that I've talked to that are close to Joe Biden, uh, including George Clooney and others that have said on the record. George Clooney, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, what's wrong with George nobody Clooney? wants to listen to George Clooney? Nobody wants but to people listen, listen to Julia Roberts. But people want to listen to Laura Loomer, and people want to listen to Kid Rock and Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, no. on, Hulk Hogan on the record, by the way, who just said who said on the record that he hates black people. Kid Rock, who's used homophobic slurs at his concerts. These are the people that Donald Trump hangs out with, and these are the people that spoke at the Republican National Convention. These are Donald Trump's celebrity friends. Didn't who, Eminem just endorse Kamala? He did. What's wrong with Eminem? Have you not listened to some of his lyrics? How, how so we're talking about, about lyrics oh. in songs. Well, he's an artist. He's right. putting it out but, there. But I'm not talking about, well, I don't know. You can tell me what he said uh, in lyrics. I don't know. Has okay. he? I mean, I don't know. I'm not familiar. You can educate me on that. Yep. All I'm saying is if we're going to talk about celebrities and you want to poo-poo a guy like George Clooney, who, by the way, is probably one of the best actors of our generation, but you're okay with Dana White, who slaps around his wife. I'm not cool with that, but I, I am a big fan of Dana White. I think he's a great man. Okay. Well, I don't think great men hit women. That's just well, my opinion, I, I, Well, I'm just saying... What? I bet you've never put your hands on a woman. You seem like a nice guy. No, I bet you've never. never neither never, have I. Good, because you're a good man. You no. wouldn't do that. I, I Dana don't. White slapped his wife. That's not my. People make mistakes. That's a mistake. Is if legal. you want to go down that list of celebrities or celebrity couples yeah. who've had altercations, I mean, we'd be here all day. Well, the only reason why I'm doing I, I this, I don't think it's great. And also, about back to Mr. White, I apologize yes. as well. Go ahead. Because I'm a Las Vegas native. Mm -hmm. He's employed and he's brought a lot of money to the city to help the city grow. I think it's very possible to help a lot of people and also be a wife beater. And that's exactly what Dana White is, in my personal opinion. We can okay. disagree on that. I know you're friends with him, so I don't want to— no, I'm not I friends with him. I, right. I just met him once. I just I have I, I, I'm just— All I'm saying is George Clooney's never been accused of hitting a woman. No. George Clooney has never been accused of homophobic slurs. George Clooney is not caught on tape saying he hates black people. The people that spoke at the Republican National Convention that are celebrities are the ones that have done those things. So you can dislike George Clooney's politics— but as a human being, I would put him ahead of any of the people, most of them, the celebrities, that Donald Trump associates himself with if we're going to go down that route. The only reason why I brought up George Clooney sure. is because he's close to Joe Biden, right, Keith? And he said over the last six months to a year, he's seen a deterioration in Joe Biden's health. And by the way, I would agree with that. I thought that debate performance, uh, Joe Biden's an old man, by the way, just like Donald Trump. He's kind of old too, and Mr. I think Trump still has his bearings, though. So well, I mean, he's, he's sharp as a tech. I mean, I don't think he's extremely sharp, but we. Can, well, we can I disagree. mean, right. I, I just think he is. All right. I know he doesn't sleep much. I'll tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. He doesn't sleep. <laughs> I do remember when I was working. Uh, for him, I get emails sometimes in the middle of the night. Changes, yeah. changes. But I will say, uh, everything I sent out to him, he looked at everything. I mean, I've had other bosses, whatever. But he, right. Mr. Mr. Trump, looked at everything, well, and he proved. And, you know, and only one image. Uh, if I remember correctly, he didn't approve of it. He sent back, so we just didn't use it. But everything, oh, really? I would say about 95% of everything I sent yeah. out, he approved. Well, like I said, I mean, personally, I, I'm yeah. happy for you. I think that's great. Yeah. You're a very talented artist. I appreciate and, that. And nobody, you. nobody could take that away from yep. you. Let's get to policy. Oh, we, okay. You talk sorry, to, that's we, okay. We keep on all these tangents, man. I swear. That's man, okay. We've been buddies for 10 years. Hey, hey that's all right. I, I think it's good. Um, yes, all right. Sir. So we talked about the moral compass and my disagreements with you on Donald Trump, the human being. Sure. Obviously, we're going to agree to disagree on that. But moving towards policy. You mentioned inflation. Yes, sir. Inflation's under 3% right now compared to all the other G7 countries that we compare ourselves to, which are the richest countries in the world. We're number one as far as the lowest inflation numbers. Donald Trump was given a very, very good economy. Even Republicans would admit that un under Barack Obama. He was left with a pretty darn good economy. Also, by the way, Barack Obama left him, uh, I, I guess for lack of a better term, a plan in case we have a pandemic. Donald Trump left Joe Biden a horrendous economy. We were locked up in our rooms, coming out of COVID, losing three to 5,000 people a day. A horrific economy. Everybody wasn't working. Am I blaming Donald Trump for COVID? No. 
That would be unfair. What I am is I'm blaming him for his response to it. It's going to be gone by Easter, 15 cases down to zero. He used coronavirus press conferences as campaign rallies. He undermined the seriousness of the virus. And again, I'm not a doctor. You're not a doctor. But nope. look, look at the economy that he left Joe Biden. Look at where we're at now. NASDAQ, through the roof. Manufacturing jobs, through the roof. Uh, unemployment rate, the lowest it's been in 50 years, even before the pandemic hit when Donald Trump was in office. Why is that a bad thing? Okay, one, Obama never hit 3.0 on a G GDP ever as president. Never did. He never, because he had overregulated everything. So if you'll start with that. Now, what Mr. Trump did, one, as far as COVID goes, there was misinformation. Where, where's Fauci at, Fauci at right now? There was misinformation going left and he right. He hired Dr. Fauci. No, I, I know, he did. I thought he only hired the Man. best people. Now, th that, actually, one of the mistakes you just admitted to, is he, he actually hired some bad people who were working for him last mm -hmm. time. Which I thought he only time. hired the best people. No. Nah. Well, By okay. the way, Fauci's worked in four other administrations. Yeah, I understand that as well. He did a great job with the AIDS pandemic, too, if I remember correctly. But anyway, he ne oh, well, back to far, as far as Mr. Trump, he gave Biden three vaccines. More people died under Biden with three vaccines than under Mr. Trump. That's there's, just a factual. So there's no evidence that people died. Uh, and I don't want to get into a, a, a COVID conversation. Well, with no, you, but, but Mr. Biden said any person uh, shouldn't be president if this man people died under your watch but more people died under biden that's just a factual and he had three vaccines right and why do you think that was do you think it do you think it was biden's fault or do you think maybe it was because uh, what donald trump left him we were in a pandemic losing three to five thousand people when when trump left office you don't think that has anything to do with it mr trump gave him three vaccines all right okay. in, in nine months which is unheard of by the way mm -hmm. biden had it more people still died under him. I'll leave it at that. Well, sure. And I think a lot of doctors, and again, I'm not a doctor, but a lot of people would say wh where you look at where the virus was at that time and how much it had spread. Sure. I think Joe Biden's done a pretty good job. Uh, he did a terrible job. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> we can agree to this. I mean, I, mean I, I don't know. You're saying Biden did a terrible job with the pandemic, but Trump did a good job? Like, I don't, I don't understand. I'm just saying, with inside of nine months, he got Mr. Biden three vaccines i don't know what that i don't know what wait well the, according to the democrats I don't remember know. what the democrats said about the vaccines i remember uh mad out every night if you get the vac if you get the vaccine so it was you proven it was proven am uh, i allowed when, to finish or are you going to keep interrupting? go ahead go ahead mad out and everyone else i said that time you get the vaccine you will not pass on coronavirus if you get the vaccine it'll stay with you that was all wrong who said that if you get the vaccine you cannot pass on coronavirus rachel maddow said it you can okay, google well, it put well, it on youtube well, well if we're going to talk about media members that make misinformation are you concerned about the dominion voting machine lawsuit where fox news was sued for 800 million dollars for lying yeah. about dominion voting machines? and they, they lost that and right they did yeah, they, they did, did. so yeah. so i'm sure you can definitely find anecdotal evidence of media members on the left that say things that aren't true i can guarantee you i could find more members on the right that say things that aren't true in the members of the media today i would disagree with that the 2020 most... election uh some people on newsmax most of them still say that the 2020 election was stolen sure. um and and that's nonsense it's utter nonsense i don't even um, like talking about it anymore but it's like let's just look for <laughs> i don't either but the reason why we talk about it sure. is because donald trump there, there's two candidates in this race yep i think we can agree with that sure. and um if kamala harris <laughs> jill loses, stein no jill stein love <laughs> don't even get me started with her keith um but if but this is important keith, yes, at sir. least in my opinion sure if Kamala Harris loses on Tuesday yep. or Wednesday or whenever we find out, I think it'll she's, be Tuesday. She's going to pick up the phone and she's going to concede the same way Hillary Clinton did. If Donald Trump loses, I guarantee you this, and I'll bet anything on it, that if he loses, he will never concede. Yeah, but Brian, come on, man. You remember 2016? Even Hillary was saying he was an illegitimate president. And they, you know why she all, said? Okay, let's talk about that. They all were saying he let's wasn't a real that. president. That he, the Russian collusion bull jive. It was all. I mean, okay. come on. Let's that talk was all, about that. That was all fake. Sure. So first of all, it's important to note Hillary Clinton conceded. She, and she did. Called him number two when she's called him an illegitimate president. By the way, I would say the same thing. And it has nothing to do with the election. It has everything to do, and she's clarified and talked about this. His behavior. She's an evil woman. Okay, well, we can get to why you think she Hillary's is. evil, but let's He's stick to this. talking about Mr. Trump. She is an okay. evil, malicious, okay, well, sore if, if loser. You, it, okay, so Hillary Clinton is a sore loser, the one who conceded. Donald Trump to this day sure. has not conceded he lost the 2020 election. That's true. Would you call him a sore loser? No. He, he gave his reasons why, so I wouldn't call him a sore loser. What do you mean he gave his reasons why? Nothing has been proven that there was any evidence of widespread well, voter fraud. The fact that he gave his reasons and you just said it wasn't proven, it's two different things. He just gave his belief why it was stolen, that's all. So anybody could just so. throw a thing at a wall and say, hey, the election was stolen. Let me ask you another question. Yes, sir. In 2016 and the year before 2016, Donald Trump, Trump. 
said that the election was going to be stolen and it was going to be rigged and the Democrats were going to cheat. And then something happened. Donald Trump won. I think we would agree. Donald Trump won a free and fair election. Correct. And then all of a sudden, all those conversations went away. I guess it wasn't stolen. I guess it was fair. Donald Trump won. And then for three years, I didn't hear Republicans talking about election integrity. And then it started up again before 2020. He's doing it again now. Under no circumstance will Donald Trump concede. He will not concede the 2020 uh, election. He will not concede this election. I guarantee you 150% he will not concede. And if Donald Trump, let me ask you a question. If Donald Trump didn't say that the election was stolen leading up to January 6th, does January 6th happen? It did, and it's a black mark. I, I, I'm to this day, I'm still mm -hmm. upset about that. So we all are. But but the question is, he. If, but go ahead. He, even in that, though, he said leave peacefully. He did not direct anybody to go do that. Does that happen if Donald Trump isn't lying about the 2020 election leading up to January 6th? I don't know. Honestly, you I. You think I, it would have happened if Donald Trump conceded? Again, I, I don't know, Brian. I, I'm just. I just, I just know what he said that day in January 6th. And I know what and, he said. And he's every... never charged with insurrection. No, so. but he's been charged with other serious crimes. Well, they were trying to get anything they could on him. That's why they hate him do, so much. What do you That's think why. about, I don't know who they is, but what do you think about him sitting on his ass for four hours during January 6th, not putting out a video for four hours? Would you call that dereliction of duty when people were dying, people were getting shot, and Mike, they were saying, hang Mike Pence, and he sat there for three and a half hours, four hours. Well, Melania there, Trump was being begged to put out a tweet, and she said no to stop the violence. There was a lot of stuff that was made up that day, too. Only one person died on January 6th, and she was an Air Force veteran so, who got shot. Right. Okay? Right. And the other people who died, they, they passed away, I don't know, from he had prior conditions uh, Brian beforehand. Said, so, so there was a woman that was also trampled on the steps that day. Well, only one person clear. died that day, and it was an Not Air true. Force veteran who oh, got shot. Okay. That the, day, there was only one person. That day, there was also a woman that was trampled on the steps. You okay, I don't know that story. Okay, I understood, understood. Uh, Brian Sitnik died the next day. There were over 140 officers that were injured that day. Brian Sitnik died the next day. Yep. There were several officers that committed suicide. Yep. All their family members said they were never the same till that day. Okay. That's a lot of damage that was done that I, day. I just said it was a black mark. And it, it okay, so we agree. Yeah, Let's not get into semantics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, as someone who served, yeah. uh, you it don't was... want to see police officers being beaten with their own batons. No, right? of course no, not. On. You're a what decent you man. You don't want here? that to happen. We agree. Every time we see the video, it okay. makes me sick. We agree. The only po right, me as well. I'm glad we agree on that. But and those are Trump supporters. And by the way, by the way, I want to ask you this then. Yes, sir. Since we agree on that, and I and I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Uh, doesn't mean we have to agree on everything. But <laughs> when Donald Trump characterized all those people, including those that beat police officers on January 6th, as quote patriots and hostages, those, many of those people, some of whom are still behind bars for very serious crimes, sure. attacking police officers. He generalized all those people, not some, all of them, and he still does to this day, as patriots and hostages, and he called it a day of joy and a day of love. Would you agree with those characterizations? Hey, man, I, I'm not going to take the uh, easy way out here, Brian. I don't know the specifics or the context of any of that. I just don't. So I, I didn't hear him say any of that, so I, I don't know. He said know. it multiple times yeah. in speeches. Yeah, I haven't heard it, and I apologize. You haven't heard it? No, I, I, okay. the way you just explained it, I have not okay. heard that. So let me so, phrase it a different way. I don't way. want to be one of those just says something to okay. say something. If let I don't me, have enough Let me phrase it a different way, even though he said it multiple times in okay. the last several months. Sure. What would you say to somebody who says, those people on January 6th, some of whom beat police officers with their own batons, used pepper spray on those officers, are hostages and patriots. Would you agree with that statement in general? If somebody makes a statement like I, that. Again, I don't, I don't want to comment. I don't know the specifics, Brian. And I, I'm, I'm not taking the, kind of the soft way out of whatever. I just, I don't like to say stuff unless I kind of have, you know, a, a depth of knowledge of a certain thing. I don't want to say something. Say but you know what took place on January 6th. I saw it. We yeah. agree. Yeah, that we it was agree. a very bad day for the country. Yeah, it makes me sick. Right, as do I. Yep. In general, I'll even go in more general terms. Sure. If somebody takes a police officer's baton and beats them, as we know on video, some people did that. I didn't see that, but okay, I'm taking okay. your word for it. Though. In general, yes, sir. If you assault a police officer, I'm just going to give it in general. Oh, you're breaking the law. And you're in jail. If you assault anyone, right? Obviously, we <laughs> yeah, agree. Obviously, yeah. you wouldn't. I'm you pro would, cop. You wouldn't characterize that person as a patriot or a hero or a hostage if they were in jail. Of course not. Come okay. on. We're human. So, so at least we got to that point. Yeah, of course. Okay. But again, the other stuff, and I apologize, and I, I know That's you're not okay. lying, and you're not right, making right. shit up. I just, right, oh, right, sorry, right. I'm That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I just don't like to say stuff unless I have yeah. some depth of knowledge or some information. That's all. I mean, I'm not calling you a liar. I mean, I'm sure you're probably telling the truth. I just don't know enough, and, I, and I, again, I apologize. He said it multiple times at his rallies, and you know, he's told, you know, boy, I'd like to rough that guy up. 
I just think inciting violence, and, and that's okay. Let's talk about the well, rally. violence is never the answer unless you absolutely we're talking like war. Even then, it makes me sick. Of course. I mean, I go to these Kamala Harris rallies and I go to Trump rallies. I try to go to both because I want to get a perspective sure. on both. And when I go to these Trump rallies, and I know you, you, you just went to the rally yesterday. Which I always go. It feels yeah. like a big family affair. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's the freedom that we all have to go to rallies, to support, and I would never take that right away from you, and I know you, you feel the same yes, way. Yes, sir. I go to some of these rallies. I went to one in June. I went to one last month. I saw Confederate flags. I saw F. Joe in the Ho shirts. I, and um, I apologize, Brian, because uh, I was just in Tennessee last week. I was telling mm -hmm. you that. I mean, have yeah. you ever been down south before? Sure. You'll see Confederate. I mean, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying you'll see Confederate flag. I, I just see them. You would agree with me that it, it, for most people, they see it as a symbol of hatred and bigotry and racism. I don't want to speak for anybody else. But, yeah, I can see why people would say that. Yeah. But I'm not going to speak for that. And, by the way, Donald Trump, uh, when NASCAR banned the flag, Donald Trump was the first person to go on Fox News and attack NASCAR for banning the Confederate flag. But, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I'll side note again. Yeah. First thing I think of is uh, Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. I see that. I, I, I think There's of. a lot of people in this country, particularly African Americans, that see yep. that as a symbol of hatred and Hopefully. bigotry and slavery. Sure. Um, but anyway, I go to some of these rallies, and they're selling Bibles, they're selling Trump condoms, they're selling Trump gold sneakers, uh, F Joe in the Ho, Let's Go Brandon. I go to these Harris rallies, and I see positivity. I don't see a lot of bigotry. I don't see a lot of hatred. And she's what, gotten pretty angry the last two weeks, though. Well, give she me something she said joy. that you disagree with. Well, you can just tone. I mean, we can measure tone in her tone. Yeah. If you watch her, when she first came on the scene, she was doing interviews. Mm -hmm. She was Joy. She was Mamala. Is that what they were calling her, I think? I didn't call her that. Yeah, yeah. They were saying that. And it was all joy and hope, mm -hmm. and that and the other. But the last two weeks, there's been a noticeable difference in her, her well, attitude. Well, give me an example. Like her what? attitude. What has she said that you think is just I'm not negative? Gonna, because I, I think she's talking positive about the future. She does talk about how she feels Donald Trump. Well, she's calling Mr. Trump a fascist. Well, come on. Donald Trump has called her a fascist multiple well, times. Yeah, I know. But, but again, though, she started out with joy. And happiness to, to attack him, calling him a fascist. Like, wait a second there. So, she said she believes he's a fascist. By the way, John Kelly said the same thing, and she was referring to the John statements Kelly of John Kelly. John Kelly is a John. disgruntled employee who was fired. Uh, so, so a five-star general who, by the way, lost his son in war. I, I, I'm aware. Right. And you think he's just lying and making things up I because do. he's a disgruntled employee? Yeah, I think he's. Okay. Uh, he's got to get to Mr. Trump. So. Donald I think a lot Trump, of them are. A lot of them stabbed him in the back and, and we hired. So you have a problem with Kamala Harris calling him a fascist, which, by the way, I believe he is. But you have a problem with that. He what was a, president for four years. What about Brian, Donald Trump he, calling her, uh, making fun of looks, calling her stupid, calling her an idiot, calling her a Marxist, calling her a fascist, calling her a moron? Why don't I hear people like you calling that out? If, you're, if you have a problem. I didn't hear him call her a moron. Oh, yeah. When did he oh, say yeah. that? Constantly. I mean, I, I we've played audio of him I never calling heard the word moron, and I apologize. Idiot, Maybe. moron, stupid. I mean, I mean. He's called her stupid, and I, I would Are not. you okay with that? <laughs> I'm okay with that. So it's okay with Donald Trump calling his vice presidential um, opponent sure. with a college degree who is a successful prosecutor, uh, an elected senator, an educated woman, stupid. You're Wrong. okay with personal insults. Right, I have two college degrees, and it's because you have a college degree does not make you smart. Okay. so she, And she failed the bar, by the way. By the way, she failed the bar once, and then she passed it the second time. So if you fail yeah, the bar once, it. that means you're stupid? No, I, There are brilliant attorneys who have failed the bar. That means they're stupid. You're putting words in my mouth. Well, I did no, not say that. You're okay with Donald Trump calling her stupid. I'm trying to understand why. I have why. no problem with him doing that because the, the, the attacks on him, what they've said about him and his family. His family, by the way, are amazing. Eric and Laura Trump are down to earth and as great as people. You wouldn't even know they were Trump if you talked to them. They were in here right now. They're so, so awesome. So I don't know I his family members. I've met with them members. twice, and they're great. So I don't know his now family members. Now let's talk members. about Joe Biden's son. Bo Biden, who served the country and, and, and lost his life? Uh, well, you have no, a problem I'm with talking Bo Biden? about the guy who brought cocaine into the White House. We don't know that that's uh, never been proven, that we, Hunter Biden brought cocaine into the White brought, House. Come on. Completely, no, don't come and, on. And then the FBI, uns, totally unsubstantiated. they couldn't find fingerprints on the baggie? Really? So there's no evidence that Hunter Biden brought drugs into the White House. You can think that if you like. I would think 90% of the country probably thinks that. Okay, but that. Eric and Don Jr. You saw him on the 4th of July out in the White House doing this with his hand on his nose nonstop, like, and he's walking out, he's wired as hell. You saw that video, right? So you're, you're worried about the behavior of a family member, and you think that he I'm brought worried about it. cocaine I don't care. I'm into glad the he's gone. White House. But yeah, yet, but Eric and Don Jr., there's evidence that they stole from the Trump Organization charity true. money. There's not which, evidence. No, then why no, did they no. plead the fifth? Donald Trump once said, if you no. plead the fifth, you're probably guilty. Donald Trump and his two They've sons. A, 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 you know I've done work with children mm -hmm. who are sick. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric Trump and his what he did with, with a lot of sick 
case, do all the research on that. I'll push I have. back on that. I have. Yeah. They've pleaded the fifth. They won't okay, answer questions. I know they did a tremendous amount of work that for families who really needed it. I don't doubt that they're. That. I don't doubt that they've done. So they're an amazing well. family. I'm sorry. I, I don't doubt that they've done so well. I mean, you think Melania Trump and Donald Trump are just in a love love affair? Just really love each well, other. Well, I'm not going to comment on someone else's yeah. relationship. <laughs> well, I mean, you're talking about the family, but yeah. you don't want to talk about their relationship. I think if we're going to talk well, about I, the I family. I don't know. Again, Brian, I, get, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what goes behind closed doors. I but, get, but yet I you know that Hunter Biden brought cocaine to the White House. Though. I would bet my life on you it. You won't comment on the personal relationship of Melania Trump and Donald Trump, but you're going to make an assumption that Hunter, with by well, the way, no evidence proven. Uh, that he brought cocaine to the White House. What about Bo Biden, who served this country honorably? Can you name me one person in Donald Trump's immediate family that served the country? I'm just curious. Well, no. What, do yeah. what difference does it make? Though? I apologize. What difference does it make? Well, yeah. we're talking about families, and I think yeah. Bo Biden was a hero. I think you would agree. You're a hero. I think. Oh any, no, 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 no. We, we, anybody we just, who we, serves this country honorably, in my definition, is a hero. We just You're a, a job, hero. That's all. My brother's still serving. He's and been I, in four and years. I, and I appreciate that yeah. in your family and your brother. All I'm saying is, Bo Biden served the country. Joe Biden's, you know. Uh, How did Bo Biden die? Well, Bernie, give, me, give me the three reasons Joe Biden said he died. <laughs> well, there was one reason, not three reasons. And well, I think he, it's pretty he, evident because Joe Biden's talked about this, which is the burn pits. And many of the, those who served Joe Biden have received cancer said, from burn pits. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. He also said he died in Iraq. He said he died what, from Afghanistan. He said three different reasons serving. Bo died. Serving. Yeah. Yeah. Bo died here in the right. United States. He got cancer. Sadly. From burn pits. And he, I, yeah. While I, serving. You know, I actually had a cancer scare last year, man. So I, I feel... And I, you know, I, I deal with kids. What do you, what do, what do you take more issue to? Joe Biden saying that his son died serving, and by the way, burn pits caused him brain cancer. But many others have died of brain cancer. I agree. That does that That's bother sad. you more than Donald Trump poo pooing on our military? Uh, he did not poo poo on our military. Dodging the military multiple times. He did not dodge. Come on. The doctor who wrote him bone spurs. By the way, I'd, I'd love to see the health records on that. Uh, his family members have said that that doctor wrote that note that he had burn spurs specifically to do him a, a quote unquote his father Fred Trump a favor. He never served. He dodged the military multiple I times. I wouldn't say he dodged, Brian. Come on now. Yeah. That's okay. an accusation you don't know anything about, and I apologize. Well, I do know something about because the doctor who wrote that note, sure. his immediate family members said that their father did it because he's passed away. Father did it as a favor to Fred Trump, so yeah. I think there's some credibility well, to that. Again, I don't. you don't know all the information. I don't know the information. I know did anybody dodge. serve in Donald Trump's family? No. Well, I, I don't but, you're, look, but you're poo-pooing but I don't Joe look, Biden's family. That's I don't why. Look, well, because I don't like what he brought into the White House. I do not like that family. What did he bring into the White House? I don't. I don't what do you Hunter mean? is a disgrace. Hunter wasn't brought into the White House. He never worked in Joe Biden's administration. He stayed there several times. He might as well have been. How many times? A hundred times? Two hundred times? They, they showed he was at the White House. He wasn't working in the Joe Biden administration. Though. All right. So you care about people that people bring in. Let's go with that. On 9-11. By the way, and I don't look down at anybody who was not served, by the way. Uh, I don't know if that got lost in the conversation. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. And I, and I don't think you would because I don't think you would make the statements that Donald Trump has made about John McCain. So I, mean, I, I appreciate that. I was young and dumb when I went in. I wasn't ready for college. I was 17 years old. Right, so I, right. I, I just, you know, I didn't know any better. I don't so. think many people would make, and I'm, I would never accuse you of doing that. And I don't think a lot of people like yourself would use the language that Donald Trump has used about those that have served. I you want know, to be clear it was great though, Brian, when, when I did enlist. Uh, yeah. It's the mob museum now, but back then we'd go back there, mm. we take our tests, and we do our swearings there. And right. whatever. I was seven, and I enlisted yeah. uh, during the Iraq War. Mm -hmm. Iraq Listen, War started. I, I, I have done work raising money for for charity for people like you, for sure. people, brave men and women. We have to do more for our brave men. There's no question about that. But you had mentioned, you know, surrounding yourself. Mr. Trump people. did a great job at the VA, by the way. It was a disaster under Obama. Well, um, that's I, a fact. I, I think going back to what we talked about earlier, because you had the, an issue. The VA now is so much better than it was eight years ago. Thousand percent. It's a totally different system now. Okay. I mean, Mr. we can Trump have that conversation. A lot of money but, into the VA. but I want to go back to something you said earlier, and then I'm happy to talk to you about that. Yep. Um, so you have a problem with Hunter Biden going to the White House. I want to ask you a question. Yep. 9 11 anniversary, not yeah. that long ago, he invited a woman to the 9 11 ceremonies personally with him. A woman who said the White House would smell like curry if Kamala Harris ever got back into the White House. Stupid she's, comment. She's a known, well, I think it's, it's worse than stupid. Yeah. Uh, it's it's um, racist. She also is a known, self-admitted Islamophobe. Who was it? Laura Loomer. Now, Donald Trump took the time to invite her to 9-11 ceremonies. What's make this even worse than that? 
is she's a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> I will say, I actually know Laura, or I did. I, I, I drew her. She's in Florida. But Do I'm, you have I'm a problem with Donald Trump inviting her at a 9-11 ceremony side by side with him? A woman who is a known bigoted racist conspiracy theorist? If you have a problem with Hunter Biden sleeping in a bed at the White House, surely we'd have a problem with Donald Trump inviting Laura Loomer, Well, right? again, like I said earlier, Brian, I'm not going to get... If I was going to get mad at every little thing, I'd be mad all day. Okay, I, but you, you know brought up Hunter. Okay, I, I, I understand. Yeah. But I'm only reacting to you bringing up Hunter Biden. Boy, they look at him. He slept at the White House. But then when Laura Loomer is invited, a known bigoted racist, you don't want to talk about it. Do you see where I'm going I with that? I just don't care. Why can't we be? Why do you care about Hunter Biden because sleeping at the White House? Hunter then? Biden is the son of the president of the United States. Okay, so and he you, was making untold millions of dollars from. Unknown donors selling his paintings. They still didn't release who's buying his paintings up. He's so you have a problem. I think we could agree that sure. if Hunter Biden's father wasn't Joe Biden, he probably wouldn't be selling those paintings. He, he said that. Okay. Okay, I agree with you. Now, there are no laws on the books that say yep. you can't take advantage of who your father or mother is in office to make money. I wish there were laws in effect. But here's the point I'm trying to make, and I think I made it earlier. Sure. If you have an issue with Hunter Biden selling paintings because of who his father is. Not just selling paintings. Okay, charisma, whatever it is. Yeah, exactly. If you have a problem with that, then I would hope that you would also have a problem with people that were actually in Donald Trump's administration, including Jared Kushner, who received a $2.1 billion check from the Saudis. And you and I both know there is no chance he receives that check if he's not working for Donald I Trump. I don't know that. And I, I, mean, I mean, you're going to say, I, I don't know Keith, that. Come on, man. You keep saying that to me. Come on, man. I'm you mean to tell me that you think Jared Kushner would receive $2.1 billion from the Saudis if he wasn't in Donald Trump? A guy who is a moron, by the way, whose father gave $5 million to Harvard for him to get into Harvard, That's who has strong. burned all of his his father's money. You can look it up with the real estate deals in, in Manhattan. He's never done anything as far as making money in his life or in real estate or anything. And you don't have a problem with him making $2.1 billion from the Saudis. By the way, Donald Trump didn't send Mike Pompeo over there to the Saudis sure. the last couple months of his administration. Guess who he sent? Jared Kushner. How about Ivanka Trump, who made $600 million in Chinese trademarks under the Trump administration? Another person who worked for Donald Trump. I just want consistency, if man. If anything was illegal, though, they would have found something. Well, if then why are you complaining illegal. about Hunter Biden selling paintings? Because That's not illegal. No, I think he illegally made money off charisma and leveraged his father. That hasn't been proven that it was illegal. I, give it time. There's, how is Joe Biden a millionaire? How is Joe Biden a millionaire? Yeah, off his salary. He's a millionaire. Sure. How? how what did he, what did money, he do Brian? that was illegal? I'm, just, I'm asking you a question, though. How is he a millionaire? How is Joe Biden a millionaire? Yeah. Uh, Nobody what? bought his book. So what I'm looking up as far as being a millionaire is real estate deals that he had. He's not he had worth real estate deals. Sure. Okay. How did well, what has him? been proven? I, what has he done that's illegal? I'm asking you. I, I don't know. Tell me. Okay, I'm just asking Tell you me. a question. I, I don't know. Tell me. Okay. Tell me. I haven't looked at his. I don't know either. But there's. I haven't looked at his financials. But why is it when I bring up two point one billion and six hundred well, million? Joe Biden is not a smart man. First of all, let's start with that. <laughs> In fact, that he's a millionaire. Like, really? He's not a smart. He's man. not a smart. He's a good politician or a bad politician. The way we're going to look at. He's he became the man. president of the United States and he defeated Donald Trump. So I guess uh, Donald Trump lost to a very that stupid was an, man. That though. was more an anti-Trump vote than a pro-Biden vote. You know that. My my vote was absolutely. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, why do you think that? Same is? with Harris. It's not a pro-Harris vote. It's going to be an anti-Trump vote. Um. She got, I, she got 1% when she ran in 2020. I feel, I feel differently uh, about Harris than I do Joe. By the way, I think Joe Biden's a decent man oh, who's lived an honorable goodness. life. Oh, so Joe Biden's a bad man, but Donald Trump is the good man? Did you is ever that... hear of Tara Reid? He violated her. Okay, let's talk about that. Sure. Uh, yeah. I'm so glad you brought that up. Yeah, it happened. It's a so, factual. I actually talked to her. Yeah. So, I actually did a drawing for her. Sure. Too, but okay. problem, and I wouldn't say the problem. So you talked to her. Okay. It was, uh, so let's talk about Tara Reid. It was a little too graphic. So she's changed her story multiple times. She's not allowed to do that? Uh, I didn't say she wasn't allowed to do it. Let me just finish. She changed her story multiple times. It's never been proven in a court of law, liable or criminal. You have Donald Trump, since you care, and I'm glad to hear you say this, you care about women that come forward and make these alleged claims. Sure. Donald Trump has 30 women that have come forward that have accused he raped them or sexually assaulted them. It's been proven in a court of law, proven that he is a liable sexual abuser. Now, if you want to say it's all the Democrats and it's the two-tier justice That's system, accurate. okay, well, you can have that opinion, yeah. but I find it interesting that you bring up one woman with no credibility, in my opinion, that has come forward multiple times with no evidence that anything happened, but yet the 30 women that have come forward you don't want to talk about. So all 30 women are telling the truth then. Are they all lying? I don't know. I would, I would... Uh, Maybe Donald Trump did some bad things. I Maybe don't know. he did some bad things. I don't know. Okay, so if you don't know, then why do you put... 
credence with one woman who came forward. Because I actually talked multi- to her, and she went into pretty good detail. I've talked to some women yeah. that say they were sexually abused by Donald Trump. They've gone into detail too. Why are they? Why are there? Yeah. Why is it what they say not valid? Even Ryan, I, I, Brian, on this this topic, I don't want to get into the sleaze and this stuff. I just not comfortable. Okay, with but it. you That's brought up Tara Reid, yeah. Keith. I well, don't because you said Biden was a decent man. Sure. That's why. But and you, we've seen him. Grope kids. We've He's never groped kids. Yes, that's he has. Not true. On their no, chest. That's not true. There's videos that's not true. of it. That's not true. It, I'll send you the link. There's he, a he difference. He smells there... the hair. He gets. Cr- he had to come out and apologize for saying, "If if I came out and was a little too touchy feely, that like really, dude, you didn't I, know." I think there's a difference between it, hugging a child. Countless videos of him being a little inappropriate, just touching people. A little weird. But proven in a court of law is there's no credence to that. I, but I, a I, video of, of Joe a, Biden that you that stuff, was a kangaroo st- court though. He it was Trump a kangaroo had, court. Mr. Trump had no okay. shot at all in any of that. Mm-hmm. He never did going in. Everybody what about that. bragging about sexual assault? On, on audio and video, or grabbing them by the genitals. Is that just locker room talk? Or you would never talk like that, and you would never want somebody talking no, like that about on. a member of your family. No, man, come on, dude. So why would you support somebody that talks like that? Well, because he was president for four years, and I saw the results. I know what my bank account was. I know what the border was like. I know that we had peace. I know Ukraine wasn't at war under Mr. Trump. So you think um, it wouldn't? Uh, Russia wouldn't have invaded Ukraine if, pre- if Mr. Trump was president. I tell you that. So you think Vladimir Putin is afraid of Donald Trump? I didn't say afraid. I think he respects mm-hmm. him enough to where Trump's unpredictable. He has no idea what he's going to do. Donald Trump, the guy that sent Vladimir Putin test kits during COVID. Okay. You have a problem with that? Well, Russia invaded Georgia under Obama. Russia invaded Ukraine under Biden. Russia didn't do jack under Mr. Trump. That's his factual information. I wouldn't. I wouldn't characterize as Russia didn't do jack. What I. What I would say is, you know, again, and I would Obama. What did Obama did they send over? He sent over blankets. Mm-hmm. Remember that? When they invaded? Really? I, I they, don't, I don't thanks remember Thanks for the support, Mr. President. <laughs> I don't remember that, but okay, you can look w- it up. what I do remember is a global pandemic created by China under the Trump administration. So if you want to blame Joe Biden for the war in the Ukraine. Well, more people died if you, Okay, but hold COVID. on a second. That's Hear me out on this. If you want to blame Joe Biden for the war in the Ukraine, which I would not characterize that as, as evidence, uh, but if you want to blame him for all the issues we have for, throughout the world under his presidency, why do you think it's you, just a coincidence that what? Russia didn't invade anybody under Trump? Do you, think it, do you think it's a coincidence that maybe we had the biggest global pandemic we've had uh, in, our, in, in our lifetime under Donald Trump? Is that a coincidence? Well, no one would have predicted that, the global pandemic. I mean, China was doing bad stuff. They Happened still up, are. But I thought Donald Trump was really tough on China. If he was well, really was. tough, on, then why would they create a, a, a global pandemic that would kill millions of our own people and, and so many across the world? I don't want, they're a communist country, so I'm not, I don't. Want so is Russia. Isn't them. Russia a communist country? They too? are a communist okay. country. Okay. I just think there's a so reason why, why they didn't do anything under Mr. Trump, and I think it's obvious. So if Russia invades Ukraine, it's not because they're a communist country, but if China creates a global pandemic under Trump, it's because they're a communist why country. Why didn't Russia invade Ukraine under Mr. Trump? Well, you're claiming it's because Donald Trump was president, Correct. and there's no evidence to prove that. Donald well, Trump, yeah, there is evidence because he didn't do it. Well, Donald Trump says he can pick up— <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much more evidence you need. I mean, Donald Trump— are at war right now. Look at the Middle East right now. The Abrams Accord was working. So you think Hamas said, hey, we're not going to kill a bunch of Jewish people because Donald Trump is president? I think when Mr. Trump gets in there, this war will stop. I think both of them will stop. Under Donald Trump, we still had a lot of issues in the Middle East. Jared Kushner didn't do anything. The Changing the embassy location did fine. nothing. No, it did. Of course it did. <laughs> I think a lot of people could say it caused more tensions in the Middle East. Well, if you ask a lot of people in that region, they would say what Jared Kushner did hurt conflicts in the Middle East. It didn't help by changing where the, the embassy is. Every day, though. So, I mean, that's always we, that's Well, we'll agree to disagree that. on that. I don't, I don't. Well, right. I thought we were going to talk about my artwork. Though, yes, we are going to do that. <laughs> okay. All right. Here's what I want to do, Keith. By the way, Brian, you are cool, dude. You, I mean, you are a good dude, man. Well, I appreciate you saying that, and you're a stand up guy for, I appreciate for having this conversation. No, man, we're having here's what talk. I want to do. Yes, yes. People sir. have the right to call in and of ask about your artwork. Oh, I appreciate or ask you questions. I know there's a lot of people that are going to want to talk to you. Uh, we, boy, we covered a lot of stuff. We man. did. We could. Get and let me going. preface this again by saying you are a hell of an artist. Uh, oh. I looked at your um, your artwork, and regardless of whether you know what we disagree on politics, you are really talented. And I looked up a lot of the pictures that you sent me. Sure. And, and I also want to, before I take calls and take a break, I want to give people the opportunity to go to your website, which is uh, whitehouseswag.com. Again, yes, that's whitehouseswag.com. Now, if you're a Biden supporter or a Harris supporter, <laughs> you might not like some of the artwork. But regardless, you are very talented at what you do, and, and nobody can take that away from you and, or your service. And or your Brian, service. by the way, also, uh, we all make our suffer somehow, and you're very good at your job as well. Oh, well, you that's nice You're very you fair. You are very cool. I, I mean, appreciate like, you saying that. Thank like you. Like, you and I could hang out well, one day. I treat people the way yep. they treat me and you've treated me with respect i oh. want to treat you with respect even though we can get into a heated political debate thousand percent and i appreciate you saying that as well all right